Welcome back, Vikes. I hope you enjoyed your day off. I'm Lauren. And I'm Kaylee. And this is your Daily News. We met up with Kevin Hines after the assembly. He had a lot more to say. It means the world to me to be able to travel around the globe 300 plus days a year to share a message of hope, healing, recovery, and what I call the art of wellness. Because it, it, tonight we had such an impact, today, this morning we had such an impact. There were so many kids that came up to say, thank you so much for speaking on suicide prevention because it really helped my life. And there was a young girl with blonde hair who said that we saved her life today. So. So this work and, and having these honest and true raw conversations about a subject that needs to be talked about in order to stop the suicides, in order to stop the attempts, in order to keep people safe, to have to be here tomorrow and every day after that are crucial. And so it means the world to me to come and to be here uh, today. So the biggest part about hearing the journey and how uh, I went through a really, really, really rough time for a very long time, but here I am today, thriving, successful, happy, married, and when they see that there's light at the end of the tunnel to my story, a lot of kids tell me that they can find the will to find a way to be here tomorrow and every day after that. They also tell me that this speech helps them recognize their true value and that they are worthy and that they do matter and that suicide is not the solution to their problem. The biggest thing I want them to walk away with is that is to never silence their pain. Uh, I really, I said it today, and, and when you silence your pain, it bubbles and it grows and it bursts and it, and it comes out in bad ways, in bad behaviors even, um, in dangerous behaviors, in suicidal ideation. When we share our pain, a pain shared is a pain halved, when we tell the truth about what we're going through, we can defeat it because we can educate ourselves about the issue so we can, so we can always find a way around the pain, through the pain, to, to find a, a will to, to survive it every time and to cope with it. If you're, or if you are having any thought about suicide, please talk to someone. Now for the rest of your news. The Seaman Show Choir presents Cabaret, hosted by Phil Morris, this Thursday at 7. Admission is just $5. The North Snook will be open this Friday during lunch. Don't forget to stop by. If you want to experience the beginning of the American Revolution, then come to the Seaman High School Library Thursday, November 29th at 7 p.m. Please park in the south parking lot. Anyone interested in purchasing a Robotics Club t-shirt should turn in their order form by November 30th. Help the leadership class with their research on teens and civic responsibility. Go to Schoology and answer questions on your class's group page. Students who need volunteer hours come volunteer at Doorstep on December 10th. Call 357-5341 and set up a time. The Fine Arts Booster Club is offering a $100 gift card to the winning banner design representing Fine Arts at Seaman High. Entry deadline is December 21st. If you lost a ring down the sink in the girls' bathroom, one has been rescued. Please identify Mrs. Brady's desk to claim it. Now, over to the sports with Lauren. Where'd you get all that food? I got it at Market Day. What's Market Day? Market Day is November 19th during seminar. Yum Toe will be selling cookies and brownies. The Hrachak Company will be selling cookies and ice cream. The Four Leaf Foods will be selling fruit snacks and fruit punch. And Beans will be selling pizza and snow cones. Remember, market day is November 19th during seminar. Bring your money. Fine Arts Booster Club is offering a $100 gift card to the winning banner design representing the Fine Arts of Seaman High. The entry deadline is December 21st. The banner design must be vertical. The dimensions are 33 by 80. The design must represent the Fine Arts at Seaman High. Several Viking boys cross-country athletes participated in the Nike Heartland, Heartland 
re regional meet in South Dakota. The boys placed 11th out of 40 teams in their race and 34th out of the 149 teams overall in the open races. The boys were led by Malachi Pope, who placed 5th in his race and 12th of all individuals in the open races. The first day basketball tryouts were this morning. Good luck to everyone who tried, is trying out. Come support the cheer team at their showcase tomorrow night at 7 p.m. to prepare for a competition this Saturday. Now over to weatherman Josh, Josh to see how this week's weather is going to look. Good afternoon to you after a bitterly cold weekend. Relief is on the way, but it doesn't start until we get past today. 34 degrees for our high, so don't let the sunshine deceive you. It's going to be very cold outside through the remainder of the day. And as cold weather continues through tomorrow, but you'll notice as we head later into the week, it shifts off to the northeast, leaving us with more mild weather. That's right, warmer weather for the second half of this week, but it all comes crashing down later on this weekend. Saturday night, a cold front going to be moving in, and there could be some snow associated with this system, so we want to keep an eye on that. But for now, as you can see here on your SBTV 7-day forecast, I'm keeping it dry for Saturday. Cloudy and cold weekend is ahead with highs in the 30s and 40s. In the meantime, though, a lot more sunshine. Now, back to your anchors. Thanks, Josh. We're going to leave you with the Thanksgiving stand-up. Let's go check it out. Have a great day, Vikes. Hey, Vikes. I'm here with some students to catch up on their Thanksgiving plans. I'm here with Cortland Lux. <coughs> so, what are your Thanksgiving plans? Um, my dad's side of the family, we eat, and then we eat some more. I'm just going to hang out with my family at home and stuff, like go to my grandparents' house, because they're pretty cool. <laughs> um, hang out with the family and eat a lot of food, like turkey. I'm going to go to Emporia, to my grandma's house, and we're going to eat a lot, um, watch football. I probably won't watch a lot of football, but my family will. What is your favorite thing to eat? Mac and cheese. Probably cranberry sauce. That's, that's pretty good. I would say potatoes, like mashed potatoes and gravy. Uh, chicken noodles and mashed potatoes, and I like cookies. So, Describe your perfect Thanksgiving. Eating, taking a nap, eating, and sleeping again. <laughs> um, just a Thanksgiving at home, well, at my grandparents' house, um, a lot of football. Football is fun. What are you thankful for this season? I'm thankful for uh, a wonderful uh, school year and all my family. Um, I'm thankful for friends and family and um, just we're very fortunate. I don't know. Um, my family, my friends, sports, school, Five hours later. My bed, my dog sweet pea, um, my phone, clothes, Kaylee. I got you, girl. <laughs> What's your funniest Thanksgiving memory? Um, when my family would come over, we'd make pyramids, and it'd come crashing down on all of my cousins. I'd be at the top, usually. Um, this one time, uh... I was going to kick the football, my dad was holding it for me, and he did the old Charlie Brown thing to me. And so I didn't do a backflip or land on the moon, but I, I missed. <laughs> I don't know. We bring my dog up every time. I'm pretty sure she, like, pees on the floor sometimes. Because she has a... She pees everywhere. Sounds like the students are going to have a great time eating and sleeping. Have a great Thanksgiving.